Now at 6, a terror threat at schools in South Florida proven to be less than credible as students head home after a safe day at school. Miami-Dade and Broward County Schools were two of several districts across the nation that received threats about today. Superintendents for Dade and Broward Schools decided to keep classes in session today for more than 600,000 students. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Fort Lauderdale with more. Ted? Ruta Bay, there's a lot of anxiety out there as threats of violence have now affected nearly 3 million st uh, school children around the country. As of today, the, this has affected seven of the nation's largest school districts, including both of them here in South Florida. Children fill the playgrounds and classrooms in South Florida schools despite threats of violence against both Miami-Dade and Broward County schools. We're having a regular school day today after we received uh, a non credible threat. Both districts opted to go ahead with class after learning the threats appeared to be a hoax. We should not disrupt our normal pattern um, activities and way of life in Broward County uh, when we don't see any credible threats that come in. Um, otherwise, we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis. This has been a very busy week for threats against schools. It began Tuesday with threats of violence by guns, bombs, or nerve gas in New York City and Los Angeles. Then it spread to the nation's other large districts, including Miami-Dade County, Broward, Houston, Orange County, and Dallas. In all, this affected nearly 3 million students. In the end, none of the emails were considered viable threats. Obviously, someone's trying to scare Dallas, and that's not going to work. Tonight, we received a threat of violence similar to those received this week by districts across the nation, including Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. In Houston, robocalls informed parents in Miami-Dade an email blast went out about 12.30 in the morning. In Broward, there was a single tweet at 6.30 in the morning saying school would remain open despite the less-than-credible threat. One of the things I don't want to do in Broward County is to create anxiety, hysteria over hoax that we receive um, in the county. Some parents were angry that they did not get a heads up. Very mad. <laughs> yeah, very upset that they should have notified us. Others say as long as the threat is not credible, they believe their children are safe. I trust my district, and if they saw a big enough issue, I think they would have let us know. So Miami-Dade obviously got the word out very early. As for Broward, the superintendent vows that if there is any credible threat that comes along this way, he will make sure to get it out right away to students as well as parents. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.